While a Chesapeake family is facing a long recovery after a driver going 100 miles per hour hit their SUV. So this happened just north of Charlottesville on Labor Day weekend, and these are pictures of the crash scene. Virginia State Police arrested the other driver and are investigating whether he was under the influence. Jemiah Beatty spoke with the family today to learn more about their recovery. The family says they were going tubing that day, but never made it. A driver going 100 miles per hour hit them. Now they suffer from various injuries. Lisa, her husband Chris, and their 16-year-old daughter Ava are taking it day by day after a driver nearly killed them. The family is strong despite what they've been through. We don't hold hate in our hearts for anybody, regardless of the situation. We're just going to keep on moving forward and just try to get past it. On Labor Day weekend, the Blancos got into their car and decided to drive down Route 33 north of Charlottesville. When they say a car lost control and crossed into their lane, hitting them head on. I just seen this brown tan speck just come at me. No reaction time whatsoever, and that was it. Just next thing you know, I remember the dash was crumpled in my face. On that day, Lisa's 12 and 14 year old sons were planning to ride with them, but decided to go in a different car. Lisa believes now that decision was God protecting them. We are so grateful. I mean, I can't even put it into words. The head on collision mangled the Blanco family's car as the three are now recovering from serious injuries, including fractured ribs and a broken back. For me, I think it's things like I can't wake up and make my kids sandwiches. I can't um, help my daughter who's in pain or my husband. While the family says it will be a while before life returns to normal, they are grateful for the community's support. I'm so many people of the community have come together for us in a way that I have personally never felt before. Reporting for 13 News Now, I'm Jeremiah Beatty.